What is it? Your God, Allah, he told them to kill the Palestinian in chapter 5, verse number 19, 20, 21. And when the Jews, they refused to kill the Palestinians, Allah, he punished them and he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert. You see, when those potatoes, uh, 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 Ali Shitwa and Muhammad, uh, 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 you know, hijab, the burqa guy, they are talking about the Malachite, it's in front of you. And there is other verses, by the way, about the Muslims, always they have different names for their prophets. You know, when Samuel, he been commanded to go and fight the enemy and he did not do or did not obey him to do that. This is still in the Quran, in the chapter of Al-Baqarah. And those donkeys, Mimi Hijab and uh, Ali Shatwa, are complaining about the Malachite when the story is in their book. Forty years. Allah punished the Jews not to enter the land because they did not kill those Palestinians. Do you see it? They refused to go and fight. Forty years. You will see that only three only actually two, two men plus Musa's three, accepted to do jihad. One, his name is Joshua, or Yeshua, Yeshua, and the other one is Caleb. Now, by the way, story is a story from the Bible, but it's not what they, what says here. This is very wrong. The whole story is messed up. The whole story here is messed up. I mean, the most stupid story ever you can imagine. Never take a story, a source of anything from the Quran. You can compare right, compare right now between the Old Testament story about this and what Muhammad is saying, he will die laughing. But based on the stupid Quran, only two men, they wanted to go and kill the Palestinian. And here the story, by the way, is so funny, that two men only, they are willing to go and attack them at the gate. Imagine, two men, they want to invade the city. I mean, who in the world want to believe in this? There's two Hercules. Hercules Joshua and Hercules Caleb. Two men, they want to invade the city. Hey, Musa, don't worry. We go. Two of us. Huh? <laughs> I mean, who in the world want to believe in this? So, I mean, who is the stupid here? It's like, imagine I, I, I go and say, let us, if, let us invade China, me and you. They will make us a barbecue before we knock at the door. And the funny here, Allah, uh, here in the story, Musa is a bad person too, because Musa disobeyed, he did not go for war. Allah, he promised them, if you are in, victory is all yours, even for the two men. They did not go. So it was just an empty talk. And when they refused to do it, the rest of the Jews, Allah, he punished them not to enter the land for 40 years. Let us go back to this dummy and see what he will say more. Tell us about the crimes of the Jews. I mean, look who's talking about crimes and criminals. A Muslim. <laughs> and they are a people who have developed amnesia and forgetfulness that they themselves, how they were crushed under oppressors in the past, and they are few in number, and they themselves have forgotten where they came from and where they uh, are going. Mm. But there will come a time, ya Muslim. Ah, uh, now we are talking. Now we are talking. But time will come, you Muslims. What we will do, listen carefully. Muslims is against oppression. Hmm. 
time will come, you Muslim, to what? Tell us. There will come a time. And we relate the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the Muslims and the Jews, they will fight. And there is coming a time where there will be fighting. And he told us, alayhi salatu wa salam, that the inanimate objects will speak on those days. See? The inanimate object will speak. And this is not anti-Semitic. This is a part of our tradition. We simply relay the hadith. This is not anti-Semitic. We want to kill every single Jew. The tree and the rock, they will say, there is a Jew behind me, kill him. This is not anti-Semitic. Don't take me wrong. We want to kill every Jew. But this is not this is not hatred. This is not anti-Semitic. No, 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 no. This is the tradition. 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 Our tradition is to kill the Jews. <laughs> it's our tradition to kill every single Jew. This is not anti-Semitic. No, no. This is just a tradition. We kill Jews. Our tradition as Muslims is to kill Jews. How in the world this is anti-Semitic? What's wrong with people? This is a tradition. Like, you know, people, they drink coffee uh, in the morning. Some people, they drink tea after lunch. We Muslims, our tradition is to kill Jews. It is tradition. Part of our tradition. We simply relay the hadith uh -huh. and we say that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that when that is, there is a war going on. There's a war going on. They have drones that say to them, Oh, so and so, there's a Muslim there, press your button and destroy it. So we're simply uh -huh. just turning it around and telling them. Ah, uh, turn it around, he is turning it around. If we go in the hadith, and the hadith it says, that time will come and you will fight the Jews. And if a Jew, he tried to hide behind a rock or a tree, the rock and the tree will say, hey, Muslims, come and kill him. Remember, he was talking about oppression. When we speak to people about how ugly Islam is, they will say to you, not every Muslim is a terrorist. Well, my friend, for me, a Muslim is somebody he follow Muhammad. If you don't follow Muhammad, why you call him Muslim? Muslim is not someone his name is Muhammad. Christian is not someone his name is a Christian. Christian is someone who follow Jesus. Muslim is someone follow Muhammad. So if you follow Muhammad, you are a Muslim. And if you are a Muslim, you are a terrorist. Because that's what Muhammad teaching. If the terrorists are not following Muhammad, then we can say those terrorists are not Muslims. But as long as the terrorists are following the steps of Muhammad, then the terrorists are Muslims and the Muslims are terrorists. Let me find you the hadith. You see, the coward did not even dare to call it did not even dare to quote the hadith clearly. He knew the Muslim, they knew it, so he didn't want to put himself in trouble. And he make the tree is the same as the drone, like the drone says there's a Muslim here, kill him. Is that what the drone doing? Because if the drone is just about killing Muslims, well, just two days before Hamas attack, there was a march of Hamas by tens of thousands, and the stupid Israeli did nothing. If this is just to kill Muslims, they can kill Muslims every day then. They can finish you all, they have nukes. Ah, and remember in the nukes, a Jewish rob, uh, a Jewish minister, sorry, uh, like in the ministry of, uh, I don't know, like uh, in the government of Netanyahu, he said, you know, maybe we should use nukes with Gaza. The Muslim gets so upset, this is absurd, this is ugly, this is disgusting. But the Muslims, they did the cleansing already. They killed every single Jew, every single Christian in the Arabian Peninsula. At that time, there was no nukes. Muhammad slaughtered them. 
And Muhammad did not finish with the Jews. This is how much hatred he have for them, not only for the Christians. Time will come and you will fight with the Jews. Until there is a Jew will hide himself behind the stone, which means the Jews, they will be the weak one. The Jews are in the run. You chase them around the world. Anywhere, anyhow, wherever you find them, you kill them. This is what this cover son of Muta was quoting for us. And yet they say they are not, this is not anti-Semitism. And then Ali Shetwa and Mimi Hajba, they are complaining about the rabbi when all the religion is about killing non-Muslims. They took even dead women's with them. Dead women's. I do not need to play videos for you. You can go and watch them. You show them already. They took dead women with them. This is how evil they are. The women who they are good looking, they took them and they are dead and they raped them when they are dead. There is a woman when she arrived to Gaza, if you watch the video, they are getting her out of the, of, of the truck. You will see the blood is coming from her pant. They were raping her inside the truck. Look at those faces, what they want from the Jews. They did not say Israel, by the way. They say the Jews, the Jews, the Jews. Which means if you are a Jew, you see there's a stupid organization. Uh, supposedly the majority of them, they are Jews who live in the state. They call themselves the voice of peace. I say to you, those Jewish organization, you are a voice of shit. You have no idea that they hate you the same as they hate Netanyahu and the Israeli army. Did you see? They will kill every Jew. Every Jew. doesn't matter. Just because you are a Jew, they will kill you. Listen to him. He will not say a single word about Israel. They keep saying the Jews. You can read the translation. It's in front of you. And those videos are not fake. Those are Hamas leaders. Their names is known, their faces is known. The, look, I mean, the guy is holding Palestine flag. Hmm. We want, uh, he's asking to kill the Jews anywhere in the world. Did you, did you see it? We have the Jews everywhere. The Jews, the Jews. All of you, 7 million Palestinians abroad. Enough of the warming up. It is time to do what? To kill every single Jew in the world. If this is about Israel, why do you want to kill a Jew who live in China, or a Jew who live in Germany, or a Jew who live in Australia, or a Jew who live in America, if this is just about Israel? 